All right. Streaming with a Rodecaster Pro in OBS 28. Beta. In OBS 27, the OBS ASIO plugin worked like a charm. No problems. In 28, the OBS ASIO plugin would not initialize. So I went on a dig to find out what I could use. A program from a couple years ago. ASIO. Link Pro 2.4.4.2. Now this was like a shareware program at start. And then the guy died. And some members of his family picked up the program. When you download it, you have to uh, run a patch to take care of the shareware limitations, but they're giving it away for free now. And it will work with, I'm trying to see the name of it, ASIO Link Pro 2.4.4.2. You can stream with a Rodecaster Pro in OBS 28. And here is the magic chart because that is like a nightmare when I opened this program up. It freaked me out. Now, up here, across through here, these are inputs. I never figured out how to use those. Every time I would try to fool with those, I made things not work, okay? Across here, these numbers, these are the separate inputs output <laughs> from a Rodecaster Pro in multi-channel configuration. These eight groups down here, you see there's, uh, that's mix one. This one through eight is mix two. This is mix three and mix four. When you install ASIO ProLink, it sets up four separate mixes as inputs. I'm only using number one. I'm not fooling with any of the inputs here up at the top up here either. I mean, up here, yeah. So... If you route per this chart, you can stream in OBS 28 with a Rodecaster. A quick rundown of the separate channel inputs. One and two are your stereo outs for the main output. I'm not using those. I want strictly multi-track, separate channels. Three, four, five, and six are microphones. One through four, mono inputs. So... You want to bridge all these together from three all the way out through 14. You want to bridge those together. Now, when you install this program, let me do that too. It asks you, you have to install this part first. This part right here, drop that down. And I think I picked, uh, I think you only need 14, 14 in and 14 out, but you've got to get at least the 14. You'll figure that part out. Get rid of that. Three, four, five, and six mono. From the host end mix, you have to drag a line to number one and another line to number two. That's taking your mono signal here and splitting it up between your right and left channels on your output or the input, I guess, to mix one. I might be confusing, but this chart will work, okay? So that's one, two, three, four. That's your four microphones. Channel seven and eight, that's your USB slider, your main slider on your Roadcaster. You want to run that out in stereo. Number seven, right side goes into one. Number eight goes into two. Nine and ten, that is your mini jack phone input, same way. Nine to one, ten to two. Eleven and twelve, that's your Bluetooth channel. I've tried that for music. It sucks on mine. It might work for you. Once again... 11 to 1, 12 to 2, giving you outputs to your right and left channels. And 13 and 14 are your sound pads, stereo signal, 13 to 1, 14 to 2. After you get this routed, go into OBS, into your settings, go into your audio. I'll just show you how I set it up, and then you can go from there. But this will work. Disable whatever. Mix or mic auxiliary. You want to set that to mix one in your drop down here. Like I say, ASIO created four separate mixes. We're using mix one because that's where we um, output all of these down to this one and two here. There you go. Using this chart, you can live stream with a Rodecaster Pro and OBS 28. I hope this helps. Maybe it'll save you 29 hours of frustration. Happy streaming.